Hey, um, this is incredible news for uh, XT20 users. Firmware update uh, beginning of April, also a firmware update for the GFX, but uh, really importantly, huge firmware update for XT20 users. You're gonna scream like a teenage girl at a Justin Bieber concert. Improved autofocusing tracking, autofocus tracking, I'll spit it out in a second. Improved touch screen um, operation, enlarged display, focus range selection, zoom in, zoom out, select an image from thumbnail by tacking and dragging, tapping and dragging, function selection via quick menus, that's, that's, that's pretty damn incredible. Obviously these will also be the features found on the X-T3 when it comes out. Um, compatibility with the Fujifilm X-RAW Studio, that's no big deal there. Um, user defined operation for the new Fujifilm lenses, um, more flash functions and radio control, uh, high speed sync, dual RGB histograms and overexposure warning, and large and custom uh, uh, viewfinder display firmware update. Information displayed in the viewfinder display can be enlarged. Well, wow. uh, improved autofocus tracking, improved uh, touchscreen. The, the improved touchscreen operation is not only improved, but it's uh, greatly expanded in its uh, functionality. That's 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 a really long laundry list. Additionally, show on GFX uh, firmware. There's going to be a focus bracketing, and also available of. I think this is almost like a joke from Fujifilm. They're calling it small format, which is 35 millimeter format or FX format. But on the GFX, uh, Fujifilm is call <laughs> Fujifilm is calling it small format. Uh, that's pretty funny. So, that's. Uh, that's really amazing. The X-T20 was uh, my uh, pick for absolute best value entry-level Fujifilm camera, and this makes it a lot better. So this will be basically, what, a month and a half away? A month and three quarters away? Well, first uh, beginning of uh, April. So, yeah, basically. That's, that's amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye.